Welcome back. Domain 2 Technologies and Tools. In this video, we're going to see NAT and OpenSSH Practice Lab. So, lab requirements Wind, uh, Windows Server 2016 Member Server, Windows Server 2016 Domain Control, Windows 10 Domain Member. Toss for the lab Installing NAT fire, Firewall installing open as such so first we will see installing NAT firewall so NAT is a feature NAT is a feature included in Windows Server routing and remote access server or RS NAT is used to connect multiple computers in a small private network to internet using a single public IP address provided by an internet service provider so the NAT server uses network interface connected to the internet to process requests from internal computers by keeping track of IP address and port numbers the router from the private network to the internet and vice versa. So in this task we will configure a device so that it, it performs network address translations for an internal client to an external destination. So let's go for the practice lab. So this is a member server. So here, so we're going to see install and configure routing and remote access server. So NAT is one of the feature that you can enable in uh, routing and remote access server. So in this task, we will see so install RRS on gateway device and enable network address translation service. Okay, so first for that, we have to click uh, manage and add rules and features. We also uh, click here, so then proceed next and the next. So set as default next. Here you can see that you need to add this feature. Uh, network policy and access server so network policy access servers so we need to add this feature and then we need to add the remote access okay next and then proceed this default setting so this one proceed with default settings next so next so all of the default settings here you need to enable the two options so uh, the first uh, is a direct access VPN and then routing uh, feature so let's say if you enable here so the remote routing so by default it automatically so let's say if you enable add features so here you can see the first one is automatically uh, added along with the routing so we need to proceed click next so after that it will start installing the IIS so then proceed next then default setting proceed next so here you can just uh, leave it is uh, untick so proceed install so you can now see that the feature is installing it started installing so we can also check this we just close it the process we can see in the flag window on the right uh, top corner so here the notifications so on the server manager you can see here so in the meantime we will uh, go to install that uh, NAT for that so we will now going to configure and enable root and one moment okay so now we mm, we can see route routing and remote access here we have to right click and configure enable 
so proceed with the default settings click next and here you need to select NAT uh, sorry custom configuration so you need to select make sure this custom configuration proceed next there you have to click NAT so NAT you have to click next option and then finish so it will take some time to complete so here uh, routing and remote access has created a default connection request policy called Microsoft routing and remote access service policy to ensure that this new policy doesn't conflict with existing and uh, policy sorry existing network policy server connections record policy so then proceed this one is a click OK so then start service so it's completing initialization so we have done now so just proceed click finish button so you will now see that uh, you can just expand the uh, expand the member servers that the one recent re recently added so here you can expand the IP version 4 the IP version 4 you can see the NAT right click on the NAT so you have to click a uh, new interface so there you have to select the the available Ethernet the virtual network the one I am using then there you have to select a public interface and connect it to the internet so this is a internet uh, you know change this public so this is this is an important one so proceed click apply okay so we have done so the second we are going to do the second task installing open SSH we are now going to installing open SSH so installing open SSH uh, is a port forwarding port forwarding or port mapping is the process of redirecting a communications request from one IP address and port number to another while the data packet uh, packets are, are passing through a router or firewall port mapping is one of the capabilities built into network address translation feature in routing and remote access server so here we will see how to set up NAT to configure port forwarding so let's go for the practice lab so in the same member server so uh, I'm going to install open SSH so I'm going to download that open SSH for that so but I have already downloaded that uh, the Cisco on that open SSH so so you can you can download it uh, through Google so you can Google it to download it open as such so I'm going to extract here here so once once we have now successfully extracted so just copy this extracted so we are going to add it on the environmental variable for that click the start right click the start option and then system there you have to click advanced system 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 settings there you have to click environmental variable so there you have to select under system variable so we have to edit this path so once you edit the path uh, you need to click the new you're going to add this we are going to add this path the exact path then proceed click OK click OK so please ensure uh, when you edit so don't don't touch here user variable for administrator so please make sure it's only under system variable so so that it will work otherwise it will not work so we will now going to add this uh, PowerShell so open the PowerShell because the, there is a number of files under the so let me show you that 
so you can see here so there's a number of files in this directory so we will be focusing on the PowerShell files for the installations so oh, here you can see the PowerShell file so let's go uh, type the PowerShell package command sorry PowerShell so run as administrator so always run as administrator then CD okay so now set dash location set dash location this is again sensitive so please make sure so when you enter so paste the same page that we copied earlier press enter so we can now add uh, we have now we can and uh, install the ps1 yes as such can check okay so now because we are in the not the correct folder so I we are right now we are in the correct folder so we are going to install the data search ps1 okay done so we can now see that uh, SSH is successfully installed. So we are now going to enter this SSH. We are going to install this SSH dash keygen dot exe. This is a case sensitive. Please make sure this iPhone capital A. So this is done successfully. You can see the generated new host RSA. So we, th this command is done successfully. So we are now going to close this. So now we can start the services. Just close all the command. So all the window. Okay now start services dot MSC okay, right click run as administrator So the service and in the service uh, window. So we can now open services. So click the SSHD, the one we have installed. So here the SSHD is the service is running. So right click properties on general uh, tab. So change the startup. You can see from manual to automatic. So we can now start this command. So it was disabled. I mean, it was uh, the service was not running. So the service is not running because it's not run the service administrator. So we are going to start the services once again run as administrator so we are going to try this one, one more time 
mm, sorry so because the access denied uh, we need to add the local account this is a local account so we need to make sure system local account apply ok so now we have to start so the service so okay you can see here the service is running so we can now close the services service window now we can right click on the start control panel so we can now go to the control panel systems and security so on the windows firewall so on the windows firewalls we can see that advanced settings so here uh, you can see that you know, right uh, left side uh, inbound rules from the action control action panels so you need here we have to select the new rule how do you connect the new rule here so in the new rule select the port number next we have to enter uh, port number is a 22 because the telnet sorry uh, SSH port number so 22 and then proceed next so you can now proceed as it is uh, the, the default settings and then we can now uh, uncheck the private and public so leaving only domain is then firewall so apply so we can name this uh, as yes as such so this one's leave it leave it blank and finish so we can now close this firewall so this is done successfully installed so we have to verify this uh, connect connection now we have to verify yes as such connectivity how can we verify this for that we need a windows workstation so i'm going to connect that windows 10 now okay this is a windows 10 machine okay so now uh, so here we are going to confirm you know uh, you have to confirm that telnet service is running here so for that so i have i have the tools monitoring tools so here so i have already the network monitoring tools so here you can see that uh, uh putty so you need a putty to connect here so i'm going to type that address So the port 22. So the, we are we are now verifying the connection. So click uh, SSH. Yeah, this is SSH. So going to connect open. So it's now connecting. So we can now see here. So the server host uh, is not catching the registry says. So we can now click S. Yes. So we need to enter the password, the member server password. I mean the lo login credential.
so it's connecting that Bamba server so we can now see successfully connected that Bamba server from Windows uh, workstation I mean the Windows Mamba server so the domain Mamba server is, uh, is connected so we can now type this command so make sure so you can now note that uh, is a uh, is connected the internet uh, in, uh, the internet interface on port 22 so you can see 192.160.0.2.22 so windows 10 so internet so this interface is connected so that's it guys uh, we have successfully uh, what we seen before so we can now, we have now successfully installed uh, uh, in, in, in installed the NAT firewalls and configured and then installed uh, install the open SSH and verify the connection successfully so you can try this uh, on your test machine so you can create your own test machine so you can play around with this so that's it guys for this uh, video so we will see more videos on labs and later on videos uh, please subscribe my channel press the bell button share the video if you like thank you bye bye